What's up, flower fans? So you're probably aware we are well into fall, which means it's aster season. Uh, by asters, of course, I mean those uh, late flowering plants in the genus Symphiatricum that can be hard to differentiate because they all kind of look the same and most people write them off as weeds. But they are important components of the ecosystem in that they provide a crucial late season nectar source for a lot of insects before they either migrate or hunker down for the winter or sometimes they move into your house. And they are also the last wave of flower color in the fall before everything goes to seed and turns brown and then it gets cold and the winter depression starts to set in. So let's get out there and appreciate them while we still can. So we have about 24 or 25 species of asters in Missouri with a bunch of different subspecies and varieties. But here at Litzinger we only have five to worry about. And all of them can be found out here in our prairies, sometimes along the edges of our woodlands. So we can go ahead and start with this one. Probably the easiest to differentiate. This is the New England Aster, Symphiatricum novae angliae. Has these relatively large and quite showy purple flowers. We do sometimes get a natural pink variety that occurs in Missouri, but this purplish color is the standard. But these are much more showy than our other aster species, and they're more commonly used in garden settings. They also get quite a bit taller than most other asters. These are kind of flopped over right now, but you do occasionally see them sticking out over other prairie plants this time of year. Here's aster number two. So this is our heath aster, or downy aster, Symphiatricum pilosum. You can see the flowers are much smaller than the New England aster, typically white with yellow centers. And the Latin epithet pilosum means hairy. And if you look closely at the stems and the leaves, if my camera will focus, they are covered in very fine hairs, which helps us differentiate it from the other aster species we have here on site. It's a nice tall New England right there. And, oh, here we go. So aster number three, this one, this is the side flowering aster, Symphiatricum lateriflorum. Flowers are much smaller than our other aster species and very densely clustered along the stems. It's also sometimes called calico aster because the centers of the flowers can sometimes be different colors. This is generally a more compact plant that's much smaller than our other species here limited to openings in the prairie and along the edges. And right next to it we have one of my favorites. This is the willow-leaved aster, Symphiatricum praealtum. Forms these nice big uh, mats of these light lavender colored flowers. They grow in clusters like this. This is fine lanceolate foliage that resembles willow leaves, hence the common name. Got a nice clump of New England aster here. Got one more and I think this is it. So 
this is our panicled aster, Symphiatricum lanceolatum. Looks a lot like the heath aster, except the leaves and stems are not hairy. Yeah, typically white flowers, yellow centers, sometimes a reddish color like the calico aster. And this one all you'll also see on the edges of our woodlands. Alright, so we found all five. So that concludes our tour of Litzinger.